Right guys, this is my holiday car. It's a 2008 BMW 3 Series convertible and it's been residing in Barbados for the last five years and I've been enjoying it. This is the same car after it got into an accident. We bought it back from the insurance company and it's been abandoned outside my grandma's house for two years. But we're gonna change that. I just got a flight and I made my way to Barbados and I'm gonna be rebuilding my holiday car. Hello guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to my hometown, Barbados. Now as you can tell by the thumbnail, you know why I'm here. I'm here to rebuild my holiday car. I'm gonna give a full explanation of everything, but if you haven't seen the previous episode on this build, I explain it in more detail. Go check it out, I'll put a card up above somewhere there. Now guys, let me explain a few things because none of this would have been possible without today's sponsors. This video and the entire series is sponsored by Imperial Cars and Exports. So my holiday car was exported from London to Barbados about five years ago via Imperial Exports. All the parts that I needed for this build, the tools that I'm going to be using, was also exported by Imperial Exports. They're a UK based company and if you are looking for anything kind of shipped over from London to anywhere in the Caribbean, get in touch with Imperial Exports. So now that I've explained all of that, I'm going to send you back in time to London just to show you how I got all the parts, how I got everything over here. And whilst you're watching that, I'm going to be jumping into that and enjoying this. And by the time that's all done, you'll be all caught up and we can roll on with rebuilding this car. Trust me, this series is gonna be, you're gonna learn a lot about me, where I came from. You're gonna see a lot of extended family members. You're gonna see so many different things in this build. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your bells. But anyway, enough of that. Go back in time and see how I got here. All right, you guys, so you're watching this in the future. Welcome back to cold, wet, miserable old London. And I don't know how far in the future you guys are, but welcome back. Um, if you remember in the last episode, I bought this non-runner and I told you, I showed you the whole plan and I told you why. You've obviously seen Barbados and tell me what you think in the comments down below. But we've brought you all the way back in time because I need to get all of these parts off to fix that car. And then I'm going to be hopping on the plane, flying eight and a half hours across the Atlantic Ocean. I think it's like 4,000 plus miles and I'm going to be bringing you back up to date in Barbados and hopefully all of these parts would have been cleared and we can get started with the build. But for now, no more talking. I want to go ahead and get the bonnet, the bumper, the headlights, the wing panels, front panels, so many things. Get all the bits off, get them packaged up because the shippers are going to come and collect all of these bits tomorrow and then we're going to get them on a boat, get them gone. And like I said, I'm going to meet up with the parts over in Barbados and bring you guys back up to date. So, let go. Alright guys, so if you look behind me, the car is in bits. It's been about two hours, I've been working non-stop, I'm a mess and I'm knackered. 
but I've managed to secure the core parts that I believe that I need to fix the holiday car. So let me show you all the bits that we've got and I'll show you exactly why I chose to go this route, getting a parts car um, and not just buying the parts. But let's check out what I've got. All right, you guys, so if you look here, you've got a giant pile of parts. Um, we've got the basics, as I said, the core stuff that we need, pair of wings, complete front bumper, all the plastic, splash guards, etc., etc. Um, complete front slam panel and I'm going to leave that as a unit we're going to be putting that in cardboard bubble wrap and black plastic wrap wrap that up send that as a complete unit and a complete rad pack now these are the additional things like if I had to buy these it's additional 50 quid each but I'm pretty sure these AC pipes are damaged um, these braces I would have to go searching those those are the braces only on the E93 to give it a bit of rigidity when the roof is down I'm sure that those are gone as well so I've got those I had to cut right here and that's because in the pictures I saw, if you imagine the top of the car, it went under, it went into the back of a pickup truck. So the damage is quite high up. These two little bits here are damaged on either side. So because we're traveling that far, I don't want to forget anything. And I've given it a lot more than I think that we need. And then we can cut and weld that onto the car once we get over there. Um, but going back over here, as you can see, I've not done too bad um, and all of those bits I can sell over here in the UK and try to recoup some of the money that I paid for this parts car. But I am happy. The only thing that's left to come off is the bonnet and I'll keep that there for safe storage until the shippers come in the morning. So guys, that's it for the parts segment of this video. These are going to go to the shippers in the morning like I said and they're going to be going on a boat to Barbados. It's going to take two weeks or three weeks to get over there but then it has to go through customs over there and it's going to be a lengthy process but I have got a plane to catch. so. I'm gonna catch you at the airport. Let go! So we start my journey in East London. This is approximately 6 a.m. and we're heading for Heathrow Airport. So guys, the day has finally come. Akil's just picked me up and I've left the Mercedes and all my other builds in the capable hands of Akil and I'm about to head to Barbados. Believe it or not, it's wet, it's cold, it's windy. In a little over 12 hours, I'm going to be in a nice, hot summer climate and you're going to be here for the ride. So I'll see you at the airport. So as we made our way to the airport, you can see the weather in London is absolutely terrible and I felt I was leaving at the perfect moment. With my bag checked in, I went to get some US currency, which doubles up nicely in Barbados. One quick stop for a little gift for the lads, a little coming home gift, and then I made my way to the plane. As you can see, I definitely should have upgraded no space, but it is what it is, and we keep it moving. Now we were delayed by one hour, but shortly after that, we were airborne, and then this was an eight hour flight. Believe me, I watched movies back to back, but before you knew it, we could see Barbados on the horizon. Final approach, and there it is. We were landing in Barbados. By the time I took care of all the formalities, got my bags, it was time to head home. But not before visiting Shafet. Had to be done. So guys, it's been a super long old day. It's been, I've been traveling for 10 hours and I've just made it to my mom's house. Check this out. Lovely, lovely space. I'll show you a little bit more. I'll give you a tour around everything tomorrow. It's just gone, it's just gone 10 p.m. Um, and we're five hours behind. So it must be hella late for you lot in London. I've got a busy day planned tomorrow. I'm gonna show you, I need to knit down to my nan's house. I'm gonna show you the holiday build. So the wrecker's coming to collect the car from the back of my nan's house. Um, I've got one of my old friends, he owns a garage. I'm gonna get the car down there. We're gonna show you all around the car. We're gonna start the work on the holiday build. I've only got two weeks and I want to try to get this car driving before the end of this week so that I can enjoy it whilst I'm here. So I'm knackered. I've stopped off at Shafet and if you're OG or if you've been to Barbados before, I'm sure you know. But if you've never been to Barbados and you're planning on coming, make sure you check out Shafet. It's one of the best places to eat in Barbados. It's like a fast food chain, but trust me, anyone from Barbados, you'll know. It's, it's, it's a must, must go. As soon as I came out of the airport today, stopped off at Shafet, grabbed some stuff. So I'm gonna get some food, get a bit of kit, check you in the morning. All right, you guys, so it's the next morning. We've got a ton of stuff to do. I've just gotten up. It's just gone 6.25 a.m. Let me show you how bright it is for six o'clock. Have a look, everything's just so bright, so alive. I'm gonna show you around in a little bit. So, check this out. This is my mum's gaff. 
have a look at this massive nice sofa right there um, I've decided to put all my little bits and bobs all my trainers are right here in this corner look what I unpacked from my suitcase all of these came down I forgot to send down the air box for the BMW I sent down the one ratchet tool that I need and I've got my tripod for you guys but check this out nice big old TV there coming down leads into this kind of living space have a look at all of this I'm gonna test this out later and then that leads out onto the rear balcony. Have a look in the back, got nice views there. Um, comes into the kitchen, have a look at the size of this kitchen, man. Nice, big, spacious kitchen. And guys, all of this is gonna be going onto Airbnb very soon. And because obviously we're Londoners, the voltage over here is slightly different, um, it's less. So we've got, in every port, we've got two sections. One is for the UK voltage, which is 240 volts, and one is for the American slash Barbados voltage, which is 110. And that makes a big difference when you're charging your phones. Whoever goes on holiday, have you ever been on holiday, charge your phone for hours and it hardly even charges. That's why. I'll quickly show you through this little area here. Is I've just unpacked all my stuff, so ignore that. But you've got one little bedroom here, downstairs area there, bathroom right there, another bedroom right there, and then this is the master bedroom. This is where I stayed. It's got ensuite, everything is all nice, everything's all clean, everything works, and it also opens out to that same balcony right there. The entire building's got CCTV, which links up to this screen right here, so you can watch this from the master bedroom. But yeah, that's just a brief walk around of everything. So guys, that's it. I've given you a quick overview of my mum's place. I've showed you how we got all the way here. Let's go down. I need to collect my uncle. Then we're going to head to my nan's place. We're going to check out the holiday build. I've been talking about it all the time. Check out the holiday build. And then I've got a wrecker. So I've been inquiring about a recovery truck. Over here they say wrecker. They don't say recovery truck. Everyone's like, what are you on about? Wrecker. So a wrecker's going to come collect the car from my nan's place, take it down to my mate's garage and we can get started. But before that, I want to get the car started. We're going to go around all the damage in this episode. So let's go. But before I do, I've got one more surprise for you. Check this out. You guys have seen this car before. Does it look familiar? Does it? Does it? That's right, guys. Who remembers this build? Still got that annoying clicking. But this thing was shipped over here last year at some point actually but you guys never knew that do you remember this 2016 c-class where i did the upgraded coop seats black completely specked out well this is in barbados jeez i just wanted to surprise you guys with that i've been holding on to the secret for ages but anyway let's go head down to my nan's so you've seen my mom's place this is kind of like the new school well let's take it back in time i'm gonna take you to my grandma's place where i grew up this is back in the day. We're gonna be driving along the south coast, but I had to make a quick pit stop at my uncle's place to pick up some parts and some tools and then we can continue our journey. So as I was saying, along the south coast, and we're heading north, the most northern parish, St. Lucie. That's where I'm from. So by the time I got there, I was shocked. This is the first time that I'm seeing the car in person, but I was happy because the damage doesn't look that bad. I got my boy Dario to give me a hand and I wanted to get started with swapping out the battery because I wanted to see if the car could start. This car has been sat for two years in my nan's garage. So out with the old battery and whilst I was at it, I went ahead and I swapped out that old battery pyro fuse because that had blown so with the new one on I got the new battery in there and then it was time to test to see if the car would actually start so you got everyone pulling hands at least it starts engine sounds good so now we know that the engine started let's see if it's gonna drive now as you can see two years of just being sat it's actually dug into the mud but anyway, we got the car starting, we got the car driving. Here's my other uncle. I've got two uncles here with me. Uncle Carlo, Uncle Jude. You're gonna see both of them. And this is where I get all of my love for cars from because I come from a car family. Anyway, now that I know that the engine is good, I can continue with the rebuild. Obviously, if the engine was dodgy, then we wouldn't have continued wasting our time. I went ahead and I continued stripping down the front end and I had to give it a bit of brute force. My uncles wanted to take it easy, but come on, I, I, I know the game. So with the damaged front panel off, it was time to remove the broken reds and with everything off the car, it's literally just exposed the good, the bad and the very ugly. Have a look. Now 
Guys, this is my childhood home. I've got lots of friends in the area. And as you could see, one by one, as they noticed that I was back, everyone started to come and lend a hand. And my Uncle Carlo never believed that this would drive and I made a little wager with him. And have a look, the first drive after two years of being wrecked and abandoned in my nan's yard. Have a look, the car's driving after two hours with a little bit of salvage nation treatment. Come on. Right, now that we've got the car loaded up, I had to head from the most northern point of the country to the most southern point, and the race was on. We had to get down to Christchurch, down in the south of Barbados, to get this car offloaded at my guy Jack's garage. Have you ever had the feeling you're being watched? Ah, you caught me. Back to the highway, as you can see, I've got one of my friends driving the C-Class up front. I'm in Dario's car, we got the blue car on the wrecker, as they call it over here, and we're making tracks. Boom. Jeez, had to get this rolling shot for you lot. How sick does the C-Class look? Right, after driving for 45 minutes, we made it to Jack's garage, but Jack was a bit scared of the camera. He said, no, nah, no camera, mate. <laughs> anyway, we continue to get the car off, and I'm gonna show you exactly what the plan is with this car in just a minute. So guys, like I said, we've come down to the most southern point of the country. We've got the car around the back, and <laughs> it's interesting, check this out. Got the cows in the grass, palm trees in the background, but we're right down by the south coast. There's the ocean down there. I'm gonna be going there later. But anyway, um, we went ahead this morning. We stripped down the entire front end, all the damaged bits that I found. Have a look. That flange right there is broken. So I didn't know, so I haven't, sh I haven't actually got that. I'm gonna try to ship it over from London or I'm gonna try to get a new one here. I doubt it they'll have that kind of part right here. So that engine flange that has been a little bit tricky. I always knew that these top chassis arms were um, damaged, so we're gonna get those pulled out straight in. We're gonna cut these ones off. And now it makes sense. Earlier on in the video, you saw me. I cut the new ones off the parts car just in case, so now you see. But the main thing, guys, look at the bottom chassis leg completely straight. Bottom chassis leg completely straight. The only thing that's gonna kind of put a spanner in the works is on the cooling side of things, like all of these little connectors here, they're all broken. And it's just a matter of getting the parts over here. Um, have a look down there, that one's broken. Um, this AC pipe, I've got all the AC pipes. Have a look at this. This is the replacement rad pack that I've got. I've got some of those pipes there. But yeah, there's one or two of them that I haven't got. I've got all the AC pipes inside, ton of parts inside, ton of parts in the garage already. Air box is there. That came in my suitcase actually. And I've got new alloys. We're gonna be painting them black. We're gonna be painting the entire car, same color. Um, yeah, but there's gonna be a lot. New bonnet, new everything. What I wanna do though, is I wanna start to remove this flange right here and some other broken bits and just see exactly what we're working with and try to come up with a plan of how I'm gonna get these parts. Guys, I got my guy Dario with me. Say what I go on? What I go on? <laughs> got me away from work. Yeah? He's always been in all the other videos with this car, man. Day one, day one, day one. Anyway, I'm gonna continue getting all these bits off because it's hot. Have a look. <laughs> It's so hot. So guys, there you have it. We're in the middle of a field with some cows, but <laughs> have a look. We stripped down all the damage on the BMW E93. Tomorrow we can get started on this top chassis arm. That inner fender right there we need to sort out. Everything on the front end, however, has been removed. And a big positive, we got the roof to work. These were a bloody pain to get down, but we ended up getting the rollover protection bars down. And forgive me if there's any wind. Like I said, we're in the middle of a field in Barbados with some cows, sheep and goats, but this is around the back of the garage. And if I step back, 
We've done quite a lot in this episode, so I'm gonna start to wrap this up. We're gonna come in, we're gonna hit it again. Tomorrow we've got some fun stuff planned, so stay tuned for the next episode. If you wanna see how we get on, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications. We're all at it, everyone's on it. And we're gonna be doing this thing, man. Full car, respray, everything. Guys, thank you for watching. Click here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch. Click here to watch one of my previous episodes. And like it said there, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We out.